Quietly grieving members of the family of the late William Wallen Timama gather at his Nairobi home when news of his passing filtered through the family ranks. And after supper, when he um, went up to sleep, uh, he just sat on the bed and his energy was gone and he lay on the bed and he was gone. And that's what happened, so he basically just slept. Um, his health has just typical of old age, but nothing serious. Nothing to say that it is from ill health. I think he's just rested. We'll miss him. So he left here yesterday? No, he was not here. Yeah. He was not here in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. He's been in uh, Narok. Yeah. But he went to the village home, which is Melili. And uh, that's where he was born. The octogenarian breathed his last at his ancestral home in Melili village, or Choro, Naruk County, where he was born in 1930. He hadn't been there for many years, and it's really cold weather now. And he insisted he needed to go, so he went there. Although going on in age, the outspoken and often controversial politician was still active, albeit sparingly, on the political scene. As late as last month, he was part of the Maasai delegation to State much. House during the inception of the Jubilee Party. The self-taught man who didn't step into secondary school class but went on to acquire a legal diploma from Oxford University was revered as a leader of the Maasai community. He began his public service as a primary school teacher in 1947 before joining the Narok District Council and getting his nomination to the pre-independence Narok Africa District Council in 1959. Soon after, in 1960, he was nominated as the second Maasai representative to the LegCo. He rose through the ranks to become the powerful Narok District Kanu branch chairman in 1974. William Longorua Olenti Mama. He was first elected as MP for Narok North in 1988, at last successfully unsettling the long-standing leader, Justice Ole Tipis. He held this position for a quarter century until he was defeated in the 2013 general election. He announced his retirement from politics in 2014 after announcing his defection from court to TNA. <laughs> He used his powerful position to champion the rights of the Maasai community, especially their land rights. We are going to talk on, on the land right of the Maasai. And uh, land is very, very crucial to us. Actually, it is our survival. That fight landed him in the Akiwumi report on the tribal clashes of the 1990s, where he stood accused of fanning the clashes between two communities that resulted in not only the eviction of squatters, but also the deaths and loss of property. In an interview with The Nation in 2013, Ntimama denied ever uttering the now infamous phrase, lay low like an envelope one that was quoted as having fanned tribal clashes then. He was last seen in public during the president's visit of Narok, where his family say he was in good health despite his old age. He was very in a very jovial mood. He didn't look sick, although only legs. He could not walk, walk properly. The late William Olentibama has been described as many things by different people, but to his family he remains a loving, kind, farm patriarch whose loss will be felt through generations to come. Brenda Wanga, NTV, Nairobi.